As of a bit over a week ago, I was blocked by the Pygame Twitter account, and every single one of my games was deleted from the Pygame website. Originally, I was waiting to see how Pygame CE, which I'll get to in a bit, progressed before recommending it purely based on functionality, but after unwillingly getting caught up in everything, I figured I'd share the background and why all my games were deleted as well. I'll also share why I think that Pygame CE is the better option moving forward, although you can choose whichever fits your needs. Pygame's development has had a problem brewing for a while. One person has control over the GitHub repository, the PyPy package, the website, the old Discord, I'll get to that in a moment, and the Twitter account, but not the subreddit for some reason. A few years back, there was some disagreement as to whether the official Pygame Discord server should be deleted and whether or not the Pygame website should be used to promote political messages. The server got deleted and replaced with a new community-run server, which is the Pygame server we have now. As time passed, the individual who had control over the Pygame website began to frequently take it down, often including the online documentation for Pygame, for a variety of political events so that he could share a message. These weren't just a couple hours of downtime, this would be several days and sometimes weeks. The contributors to Pygame were not consulted about this beforehand, and many of them did not agree with this usage of the website. I'm not too in the weeds when it comes to following the actual contributions, but I've heard that there were many disagreements between the one individual and most of the rest of the community in terms of what types of updates Pygame should even get. There were many unsavory arguments which I won't share, but eventually when Pygame was being updated for Python 3.11, many of the core Pygame developers got blocked by the individual from the Pygame organization on GitHub and were no longer welcome to contribute. In addition to this, they were blocked by the Pygame Twitter account and had all of their projects deleted from the Pygame website. In February of this year, most of the developers were either prevented from contributing, or they had had enough of Pygame's management. So they decided to take advantage of the wonderful nature of open source projects and fork the repository. This is when Pygame CE, or Pygame Community Edition, was created. Its goal is to be a drop-in replacement for Pygame. You just have to uninstall Pygame and do a pip install Pygame CE. It still uses import Pygame and all of the old functionality is still there. However, development is proceeding faster because it has most of Pygame's developers. If you go through the last major release that was primarily before the fork occurred and look through the list of changes, you'll find that about 74% of the changes were developed by developers who are now working on Pygame CE. Issues aren't the best representation of the scale of contributions, but it gives you a good idea of what's going on. Of the remaining 26%, most of the contributions were from first-time contributors or contributors that haven't contributed since the update. All that remains in the original Pygames development team is just the occasional new contributor, the guy who has the control of the repository, and a couple others. Pygame CE has new features, bug fixes, and even some performance improvements. For example, the last update has a 10-40% performance boost in the scale transform which is very common in games that use pixel art like mine. I wrote this benchmark script just to see the scaling performance for myself, and I experienced a 20% performance boost when scaling a 957x626 surface to 3000x2000 1000 times. I've also seen a few questions pop up in my Discord server about some bugs in Pygame that turned out to be fixed in CE. But for most people, some of the best parts of CE are the new features. For example, it has f -recs, which are rects that allow you to use floats instead of just using integers, which makes physical behaviors easier to code. There's also stuff like a new blur transform for surfaces. You can check out the full list of updates on Pygame CE's releases page on GitHub. I'll link it in the description. I was waiting to see which branch of Pygame pulled ahead before recommending anything. Recently, I started using Pygame CE on my desktop PC while leaving the old Pygame on my laptop just to test stuff out. I had heard about the performance improvements and other features and decided it was worth a try. For most people, it probably doesn't matter which version you use at the moment since it's only been a couple months since the fork, but the benefits are already there if you want them. The changes that have been made in the current trajectory of the development are good enough reasons for me to personally switch. This brings us to Ludumdare53, where I decided to jump in at the last minute. I created my newest game, Moon Rabbit Collection, which is my first released game using a new framework slash engine I made in Pygame. 
I streamed nearly the whole development here on YouTube, and the day that I released the game was when I got blocked and had all of my projects deleted. Note that this is before I mentioned CE in my time lapse. Since I had said almost nothing about Pygame CE, and I hadn't interacted with the person in control of the original Pygame repository in a long time, I was likely blocked and had all my games deleted for using CE and Moon Rabbit Collection. All of my games, including Moon Rabbit Collection, run in both Pygame CE and the original Pygame. The source code isn't for any specific version, but the Windows build packages with CE. Oddly enough, that means he would have had to have been watching my stream to see me using it, dug through the build files for Moon Rabbit Collection since it doesn't show up in the console or the code, or had someone tell him. So this presumably happened just because I used Pygame CE. This is a complete 180 from how things were five years ago when my game Super Potato Bro was shared in a homepage news update on the Pygame website, which just shows how much things have changed. The way that the Pygame website allowed developers to share their Pygame projects was really cool. So in light of all my stuff getting deleted, I'm considering creating a platform for developers to share games, updates, and even get feedback with a game jam type karma system. I've also got some other stuff I'm working on right now, but you may see that pop up in a year or so. Anyways, I've linked Pygame CE's website repository and Discord server in the description so you can look into it on your own to decide if the switch is right for you. Feel free to use whichever suits your needs. I just figured I'd share my experience with the subject and give you an idea of where things may be heading. Also, it shouldn't have to be said, but please don't go after anyone mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching.